Welcome to Not Too Shabby Games. My name's Liam, and today, yep, we're back with Outlast. Okay, so, um, yeah, all right, we're going through. Great way to start it off. Let's turn down that volume a bit. Jesus. It's not that it, the sound itself didn't scare me, it was just way too, yeah, I did. All right, I'll be honest. I'm gonna stop lying to myself and all of you guys. So, the sound was really loud, for one, and it kind of broke my ears, so. What did I'm good, buddy. Alright. Back off, dude. So gonna grab me. What's the experiment? The dead who will fall on the living. Nice jump, me. Another witness dead. Oh, just driven insane. Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28th, 19, why am I getting 19? Uh, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematics and scientific communities for a paper written on early computing pioneer Alan Turing. <sighs> After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he immigrated, emigrated to the United States in... 1989, 40, I'm sorry guys, numbers are not registering with my brain, 1949, with a visa from the State Department, several decades of government research in Los Alamos, Alamos, went to New Mexico, where Dr. Wernicke retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. Why is it that... I kind of believe that's bullshit. A statement from the company calls Dr. Wernicke a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. I don't... No survivors? Yeah, I'm not sure I like the sound of that down a bit because I'm being very loud. <laughs> Maybe just to me sounds like I'm being very loud. Maybe you guys aren't hearing all of that. Oh, another level. Okay, that makes that makes sense. Okay. What was that? I don't wanna know. You know what? Is that a battery? Ooh. Cool. Alright, let's turn this episode off strongish. We got a good scare in the beginning. Even though, you know, you guys probably saw it in the last episode. Whoa, what are you doing? Dude. What are you doing? You just made us look in Get off me. Should have seen it coming. All right, going through here. Hey, bro. Yep. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for right now. Sorry, I'm not doing a lot of commentary, guys. I'm just really focused. He said, "Follow the blood." Blood isn't leading this way, so what's down here? Perhaps a battery? Or 
or a place to hide. And I might be in need of a place to hide soon. I don't know. Usually whenever there's lockers, that means I'm gonna need to hide soon. The word wall rider is all over the place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider, but the patients talk about the wall rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or a demon, something they found in the mountain. I'd chalk it up to sixophanic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera. Maybe this place is getting to me. Man, this... This game... It came highly recommended from uh, my friends who are fans of horror. And now I see why. Battery. I'm gonna go back and forth between saying battery and battery. Because, you know, I might have some European fans. Or no fans at all. Either way. I know I use that joke a lot, and, you know, I don't mean to... I don't know, it's just... It's just a joke, I don't mean it seriously. I don't like this... Wow. My frames just stopped. Oh god, sewers. I'm having so many flashbacks to vanish right now. Oh yeah, I didn't mention in my last videos. I just noticed that we got over 300 views, which is just fantastic. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, not sure why I'm mentioning it while I'm trudging through sewer, but it was on my mind, so I decided to mention it. I didn't even see that it happened until it was like, you know, 321. I was just like, whoa! Where did I get views from? And then I noticed that people were actually viewing my stuff. So, thanks guys. Hopefully, I will continue to put out content you guys would want to watch. And that starts by figuring out where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Shut up, I know. Oh, there's a little grate there. This game, you sort of need that light to be able to see. I mean, there are some games where you don't really need your flashlight or your glow sticks. Glow sticks, you know. That's obviously I'm talking about Vanish right now. Okay, cool. Okay, flush the water. All right. Oh, map. Okay, so I am there. I'm guessing. I'm here, and I need to get up there and down there. All right. I'll go right first. You've got to be kidding me. How can he always find me? <laughs> but I want to, I was using batteries like, popping batteries like Tic Tacs earlier, and I don't want to be running the low one. I was right. 
I thought that it would make a sound that would attract him back. But. I've got one of the pumps turned on. He went down the way I need to go. Way. I saw him down there, right, guys? Maybe I didn't. Okay, that's him there, alright. That guy. One, he's always trying to kill me, but two, he seems to show up whenever it's inconvenient. And that's the big problem I have with him, the fact that there's no way in hell he can always show up right when I don't need him to. Now that my objective is completed, I don't think he'll be coming after me. <laughs> Great job, me. Great job. Alright. So, I tried... I don't even know what I tried doing. How do I use it? Die. Oh, I just moved towards it, of course. Okay, I don't like the low visibility I have while looking down. That's gonna be a detriment to me. 
And at some point, there's gonna be a jump scare at the bottom of the ladder. Ladder at the top of the ladder. Oh, dead guy. Hmm. I don't know if I've noticed there are no women in this game, only men. It's kind of weird. I mean, maybe it's just like a male asylum, but instead they've got a male ward and a female ward, so. Oh, like that even scares me anymore. Come on. Get real. Hey. I get the feeling he's on my side, though. He looked like an inmate that was, you know. Holy crap, that wall rider thing just tore some people apart. That's at least what it sounded like anyway. Uh is that Doc? They told me at the beginning to record everything, so that's what I'm doing. Don't want to be missing any notes. You don't have to be scared of me. I can tell we're the same. Yep. You still know it's real. Actually, the, I do. The doctor's dead. You know that, right? Dr. Barricade. It died before he even started working here. I'm sorry? Well, what kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients? <laughs> That's the question. Now, is this guy cracked, or does he actually know what he's talking about? The patients know what Dr. Warnake is dead. One asked me what kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients. What is Project Wallrider? These ladders are stressful. Oh, good. Which way do I go? Like, see, there's a male and female ward, so I don't know why I haven't seen any women here, only men. Most of them trying to kill me. Okay, so apparently it's locked down. Maybe it has something to do with the morphogenic engine reacting to has reactions with the brain chemistry. I don't know. And that, you know, not working with the chemistry of the female brain. Or it could be that I'm just making up stuff to make me seem smart. I'm gonna go with that one, because I like that answer. It's the true one. I don't know, maybe I'm... Oh, God. Glad I can't open that. Is there gonna be some sort of water monster? Is this amnesia? I don't know how the water monster and amnesia works, I just know that there is one. I haven't even played amnesia yet at the time of this recording. But uh, I may have uploaded a uh, video of Amnesia before a video of this because I've done three recordings of it today. Because, you know, I can't stop playing. Oh, this scaffolding is so breaking. I'm going to... Hey! Oh, that was just where I was. Okay. I guess... I'm guessing that way back there. Hey! How's it going, buddy? 
not even gonna do anything, are you? You're just gonna stand there. Alright, talk to you later, bud. That's a battery. My light's starting to waver a bit. Now I'll reload it. Alright, can I just jump up? Oh. <laughs> Down land, thank you. Water is too. So many dead people. Already a week cold. Already weak cold. It's still bleeding, but it doesn't hurt anymore. And I, oh, I have almost have quiet. All right. I can't hear the wall rider anymore. Maybe the therapy is wearing off. I can't remember the, the dreams. Said I could. Yeah. Said I could earn my release from this place by submitting to the therapy. Lies. Of course they were lying. It's not therapy. We were sacrificed to conjure a demon. Please let there be no dreams. The only hell. Now the story is coming together. So I'm not sure if these guys are wrong about the they're actually being a demon summoned. Is that what the wall rider is? Some sort of demon? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's Chris Walker. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> sounds like he's right there. I move faster in the water than he does. Combined corridors. I feel like something's gonna happen. I'm gonna reload. Dude, alright. Alright. 
Talk to you later, then. Man, these rivers of blood are... Not exactly encouraging. And... I'll just leave this episode here. Because I've been recording for about 20 minutes now, and this seems like a good place to leave off, and nothing's happening. So, before something does happen, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, click the like button below. Click subscribe to see the change for videos that I've done. And as always, so much traumatized viewers. Good luck, sleep. Good night. So, is he saying that there are actually more ghosts here? Am I gonna fight a ghost? Who are you gonna call? Probably not me.